It's your favorite Canadian foodie sisters and we are in gorgeous Penticton, British Columbia. Follow along with us today as we explore the food scene. We're gonna hit up old favorites, new places that we are first experiencing and some hidden treasures along the way. So let's check out a day of eating in Penticton. <laughs> I was waiting for you to look at me so we go, yeah. Still Foods Bistro and Cappuccino Bar is a cappuccino bar by day with incredible baked goods and by the evening it serves full meals and cocktails. Still Foods Bistro opened in June of 2023 with an aim to serve those who are vegan or looking for plant-based options in Penticton. We stopped by during the Okanagan Hot Chocolate Festival to try their roasted s'mores hot chocolate with their orange chocolate cupcake. Everything you can hear is vegan or plant-based, but honestly, I could not tell. The hot chocolate was decadent and the marshmallows were gooey. The cupcake was absolutely perfect and moist. Highly recommend you come here for either breakfast in the morning, for their expertly crafted coffee, and I truly can't wait to come back for their cocktails, Philly cheesesteak, and chicken and waffles. The Lear House supports local artists by giving them a space to create and showcase their art. And you'll find many residents, some of which are currently working in select rooms. But what we especially love about the Lear House is the gift shop. It's the perfect space to pop in and grab some unique items to remember your visit from Penticton. We especially love the affordable $10 prints or the coloring pages for the budding artist in you. If thrifting is your game like it is for Taryn, then head to Elizabeth O in downtown Penticton. Holly has one of the best shops in the Okanagan and it has a nice mixture of new and gently used clothes. We love how you can pick up Penticton souvenirs like this beautiful sweatshirt or new earrings or an old classic. And speaking of old classics, head down to the bookshop for the most unique bookstore in all of the Okanagan where you can find old classics and antiques. Time Winery and Orolo Dining and this building actually used to be a old theater so they have renovated it beautifully. It's two stories with a little hidden tasting room that we're gonna go check out. Hmm. So I have the corpse reviver. It even looks pale and colored like a corpse. <laughs> so in it is a Empress Indigo Gin which gives it that purpley color. Uh, Lille Blanc, I'm assuming that's some sort of liqueur. Triple sec, fresh lemon, and absinthe. And let mm. me tell you, it packs the amount of electricity to revive you. <laughs> oh yeah. So I have the El Diablo. So you look at beautiful color. It is mezcal, ginger beer, creme de cassis, lime wedge, garnished with candied ginger on top. Absolutely gorgeous, let's give it a try. Ooh. Oh my, it's devilish indeed. I'm gonna tell you what you got here. Yeah. This is a boar and brandy pate. Um, on the other side there you have a lamb prosciutto and oh. then this is oh. like a Swiss salami. Um, then you have, this is an ashed brie, so like a nice aged brie, a Danish blue cheese uh, and then a beautiful Swiss cheese. Got a couple different kind of mustards there, some candied seeds, a little bit of house crostinis. Um, you have an apricot jam and then just some like nuts and fresh olives and fruit, all that good stuff. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. You know, you're in wine country and you have to do a charcuterie. It's kind of a big deal around here. Oops, sorry. You know, I love Penticton because 
compared to Kelowna, it's just like such a laid back place. Penticton? Mm hmm. Yeah. I do notice a huge, like, not a huge, but I do notice a price difference compared to Kelowna. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I notice a price difference and it's not, um, it's not as expensive. I, I find like Kelowna is inching towards, if not already, at Vancouver pricing. Where you're like, how the hell am I paying these prices? I'm not in Vancouver. For two people mm -hmm. to go out for a meal. Yeah. So that's another reason why I like Penticton and cities like Vernon as well. Vernon's pretty reasonable. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a great steak, come to Arolo in the evening. This is the place for you. We are in the back room, which is the tasting room at Time Winery, and it is gorgeous in here. They have the green velvet booths. All of them are booth seatings, and they have the bar. The lighting is beautiful. It is gorgeous back here. That's amazing. Computer, and it sends everything to the, the winemaker's computer. Oh, so wow. it's pretty interesting. We're yeah. one of the first wineries to have it. There's a few more on it now, but we were one of the first to get it. Wow, that, that is really, really cool. cool. Yeah. If you're wondering how to get around Penticton, we highly recommend walking, or of course you can take a car. But you can easily get around downtown Penticton to the beach, walk around the historic spots, take in some of the art and the beach views. Another new location in Penticton is Kin and Folk. They open in April of 2023. Everything is made in-house and inspired by seasonal ingredients. Their unique cocktail menu is absolutely inspired and their food is incredibly flavorful. If you need to find one place to go for dinner, this is it. So I have here the pistachio and espresso, which I have never heard of before. I had to have it. It looks amazing, creamy, nutty, and a little salty, which is perfect. Uh, so in it is cognac, cherry cream, Kahlua espresso, miso pistachio, or jean? I don't know if I've, I've ever heard of that. And chocolate bitters. Ooh. As you can see, it's not too thick. Or jeet. Sake and green tea, so we have Kizuna Sake Umeshu Green Tea Stoneboat Bubble Syrup Lemon and Orange Tree Bitter. So let's let's give it a go. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That's nice and smooth and not not strong at all. Mm. That's quite nice and refreshing. Yum. <laughs> Some prawns, which is our take on a ceviche. So okay. fermented tomato water, coconut milk, Thai chili, and Thai basil oil. And then these are our togashi wonton crisps. Um, so it's kind of like a build on top and enjoy. Thank you so much. Gorgeous. It smells amazing. Okay, we got the jerk chicken kara karage. Karage, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's give it a go. Mm. So juicy and tender. Mm. Man, that's, it's it's spicy, but it's so good. It has like that perfect amount of jerk spice on it. You want to try some? Five spice agnolotti, which is short rib, pecorino, crispy sage, orange so orange soy, 
Burr Blanc. Mm -hmm. The pasta is cooked perfectly. It's creamy inside, savory, a little salty. The sage pairs well with it perfectly. And the sauce, a little nice hit of spice with it, just balances out perfectly. That pasta, that pasta with the umami and everything, that was a really good bite. Really good bite and fresh pasta. Everything's made uh, from scratch in this place. It's so good. You can tell. Had, like gorgeous plating, vibrant flavors. Everything's made in house, and it's 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 gorge. My cheeks are so I know. warm from I, the jerk chicken. It, it's hot. It's hot in here. <laughs> And that is in the heart of Benguito. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Inspired by Naples, Trato has become a fixture in Penticton, serving not only Okanagan wine, but also Italian wine. Serving Naples-style pizza made with quality ingredients, it's not to miss. Grab a seat at the bar so you can watch your pizza being made by these skillful masters. And can I just compliment this girl on her impeccable style? Like, this is the iconic pizza girl style going forward. Forget hot girl summer, it's pizza girl summer. God, it's beautiful. <laughs> wow. yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing. Look at that. I don't think so. No, I think this is amazing. Yeah, That's great. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. Like a nice little dollop of salad. Look at that. Look at the double pepperoni on that. I know, that's why I got it. I had a feeling. <laughs> I had a feeling. That is like quadruple pepperoni anywhere else. You want to slice this? I, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> That's why sometimes you gotta, it's nice to try new stuff with that wine, but then the classics, double pepper and red wine, mm. and the gum, the crust, but the pepperoni, the best pepperoni I've ever tasted. Like how easy is that? And you got the nice slice. Good. Sweetness, I couldn't put my finger on it and then I realized it's dates. I love that. It's actually quite nice. Mm -hmm. And with the ricotta, because cheese and dates together, we know we love it. Mm -hmm. We know. Mm. That's really nice. It makes the wine smoother. The pizza? Yeah. With the cheese. That's fine. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. That is that is all the bit of coffeeness that I really want right now. It's like a martini espresso and a mm -hmm. cake form. flatbreads are called pide and they're made in the house wood-fired oven and they're absolutely incredible maybe not the best thing to finally take Taryn here after we just had a pizza at Trato but I had to squeeze it in because I just love this place so much they're doing something unlike anything else in the Okanagan and I had to get him on camera 
creating this dish consisted of banana peppers and chorizo. So it's really the Turkish version of a pizza. Absolutely, highly recommend. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. The chorizo is spicy. The chorizo is spicy. This is so good though. Maybe not after an entire pizza, but it's so good. Mm. Turkish specialty. I highly recommend their other stuff too. You got like homemade hummus, baklava. We're just full. <laughs> Mm. That's good though. Okay. I think we're tapping out, aren't we? <laughs> I was stuffed after eight hours of eating in Penticton. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again. Be sure to subscribe.